Hello everyone, a very good day to all of you. This is Dr. Muhammad, and with another video, we talk about something very weird, which is the helicobacter and the shortness of breath. Yes, this is one of the very weird symptoms that those who are infected with H. pylori helicobacter are suffering from. So, in this video, we are going to discuss how the H. pylori is related to the shortness of breath feeling. All right, first, let me do some revision about the H. pylori itself. What is H. pylori? How can be transmitted from person to another? What are the main symptoms and how to be treated? Okay, number one, H. pylori is a bacterium, is a spiral bacterium from the name Helicobacterium. All right, it is a gram negative bacteria. Very resistant, very powerful, and very strong with a very huge impact on our digestive system and also can affect other parts. All right, this bacteria is very famous, and more than 70% of the population are infected with this bacteria. This bacteria, it is transmitted from one person to another by the following ways. First, through saliva. Yes, it can reach up to the saliva. And by sharing the food, sharing the utensils, spoons, cups, and others from infected to another. For example, if one family, if one family member with H. pylori, the other family members are at risk to get the same infection. Second mode of transmission through infected unclean food, third through unclean source of water, fourth for example you go to a toilet and you don't wash your hands properly so you can transmit the bacteria to those who are non-infected. What are the symptoms? The things about H. pylori, most of those who got the infection with H. pylori, usually they don't have symptoms. But if they have any symptoms, usually will range from abdominal pain, especially in the center part, second feeling of like heartburn, or we call it acidity in the stomach, or heartburn in this area of the esophagus. Also, you will feel bloated, and you will feel nauseated and you feel full and no appetite to eat. That will lead to reduction in the weight. So you will have a weight loss and poor absorption, which leads to anemia and other problems. What are the other symptoms? Now we come to the part that the very weird symptoms that can be caused by the H. pylori. Shortness of breath, yes. Those who are infected, especially for long time, undiscovered H. pylori, they will suffer from shortness of breath feeling. Where it come from? Okay, they did a study and they found those who suffer from bloating, and heartburn due to the H. pylori, they will have some kind of worry, psychological effect, cause them to be anxiety, worriness, and that will lead to the feeling of what we call a shortness of breath. So, this is the first source, okay? You feel bloated, heartburn, that cause you to be worriness, anxiety, and that will lead you to have shortness of breath feeling. The second, when you have a bloated colon or abdomen, that bloated abdomen will cause a pressure over your, what we call the diaphragm, and that diaphragm will cause kind of a pressure over your heart and over your lungs and makes you feel shortness of breath. So my message here, if you complain of any digestive symptoms 
like, as I mentioned, nausea, lots of burping, pain, heartburn, bloated, and you start to have shortness of breath. So that means you most probably having the H. Pylori. Yes. It also can lead to many other things, bad breath and affecting your digestive system and leads to many consequences and diseases. What are the consequences of H. pylori? First, it leads to gastritis or inflammation of the linings of the stomach. Second, it could lead to ulcer, peptic ulcer means a gastric or stomach ulcer uh, and or a duodenal ulcer which is the first part of the small intestine because as I mentioned it is a spiral shaped bacteria it has the ability to cause to do a drilling and cause a hole in the linings which leads to a wound inside the linings of the stomach and that will be presented by pain especially in the central part which radiated to the back Sometimes patient comes with vomiting, yes, and it might be mixed with blood. That means your ulcer is bleeding, and the blood will be looks like a coffee, uh, a coffee grounds appearance. Okay, the third consequence of Helicobacter, if not treated, it might lead to stomach cancer. Yes, cancer is one of the consequences if you don't pay attention properly to your uh, helicobacter infection. So please, you need to um, do a regular checkup on yourself, like once a day, at least, you visit your specialist or your family doctor to check on you and to do some investigations and some tests on you. All right, um, what are the treatments? The treatments, which is usual, in the medical field usually they will uh, before treatment they will do investigation to check whether you have the H. pylori or not the very most famous uh, investigation we call it urea breathing test they will give you a capsule or a drinks they will ask you to blow in some bag and they will test your uh, urea level and from there they will tell whether you have the infection of the H. pylori or not Second, they will do a blood test. Third, a stool test. Fourth, you might need an endoscopy, but endoscopy is not meant to check for H. pylori only. No, it will be meant to check your digestive system, especially if you're feeling a heartburn, a frequent heartburn, a bloating, and other digestive uh, system symptoms. Okay, the treatment, usually they will prescribe for you after they confirm you are positive for H. pylori. A two, type of prob uh, two types of antibiotics which will last for two weeks and also they will continue for about four to six weeks something we call it a proton pump inhibitors like omprazole, pentaprazole and others to reduce the acid secretion from your stomach okay what are the preventive methods because we always say prevention better than cure it's good to prevent yourself from this bacteria. First, wash your hands properly after you've done with the toilet or you do go to washroom. Second, wash your hands properly before you start eating. Third, try not to share food or drinks with adults. Okay. And fourth, wash your vegetables nicely and properly so in order not to get the infection. What we offer you as a natural way to cure and treat your helicobacter infection. The scientists have discovered there is one kind of probiotics, a natural bacteria, that is able to detect, tackle, find that H. pylori, hook with it, coaggregate with it, catch it, and take it out from your digestive system, from your digestive system. Okay, so literally, this probiotics, the good bacteria, it will search for the bad bacteria, find it, catch it, coaggregate around it, take it out, flush it from your system through your bowel motion. Why? Because this probiotics, this natural bacteria, it has something like a receptors or hook to detect the H. pylori and catch it, take it out from your system. What is this bacteria? We call it lactobacillus. 
Rotary DSM 17648. It is one of the very unique type of the Lactobacillus because Lactobacillus has more than 700 species of bacteria. This one, the DSM 17648, is the unique one that after many years of study they found is the effective one to find and do this the hook and the flush procedure. Okay. This probiotics is patented from Denmark. This lab who produced this bacteria is from Denmark. It's very effective and very good to produce this kind of a good bacteria, which is natural, to eradicate your H. pylori. What are the good things about it? No side effects, safe for pregnant women and for children, because children are very at high risk of getting the H. pylori. Why? because they used to share things with others, they don't care about the hygiene, about the cleaning, washing hands, so they are more prone to have it since childhood and they don't notice symptoms and it will live, this bacteria, the bad, live inside the stomach for many years and it will become a lot and cause damage to your digestive system. Okay, so this bacteria, no side effect, no antibiotics, good for pregnant, good for children, you will need about three months course of that probiotic once a day. This one, once a day, one capsule per day after food. You take it for 90 days, you will notice a magnificent result. For sure, you will start to notice a good result after two weeks, after a month, less heartburn, less bloating after second month. You will feel the better feelings and after the third month, for sure you will feel very good it's natural you can take it as long as you can you can take it alone or you can take it even with the prescribed antibiotics that your uh, doctor prescribed for you to eradicate your helicobacter bacteria so as a message of today's video please try to do your prevention methods against the h pylori try to do a test to know whether you have it or not if you have it try to find a solution don't let it take long. If you have any digestive symptoms, please, like bloating, heartburn, others, don't take it easy. Don't simply go and buy the over-the-counter uh, medications like this uh, Gaviscon or other things to make you feel better. No, it will go to mask your symptoms. So you better go and find a proper solution. And our advice as a medical expert is to use something natural, which is a probiotics. Thank you so much, stay healthy and safe.